Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic, extrasensory perception, or ESP. Now, ESP is a bit of a controversial topic, as some believe it's a genuine human ability, while others argue that it can be explained by other factors. Let's start with the different types of ESP. Clairvoyance is the ability to perceive information through sight, even when there's no physical stimulus. Clairaudience is the ability to perceive information through hearing, even when there's no physical sound. Clairsentience is the ability to perceive information through feeling, such as physical sensations or emotions. Psychometry is the ability to perceive information about an object by touching it. And finally, precognition is the ability to perceive future events. Now, if you're interested in learning more about ESP, there are a few resources you might want to check out. There are some great books on the topic, like Extrasensory Perception by J.B. Ryan and The Psychic Universe by Dean Radin. There are also some fantastic organizations out there, like the Parapsychological Association, which is dedicated to researching and studying paranormal phenomena. Personally, I've had some experiences that I attribute to ESP. For example, I've had premonitions of future events, intuition that's helped me make decisions, and even some instances of synchronicity. It's important to note, though, that everyone's experiences with ESP can vary widely. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this discussion on extrasensory perception interesting and thought-provoking. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to follow and subscribe for more fascinating content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.